Um, John, good to see you. Before we get too much into what we're going to be talking about in terms of moving forward, just just one question to start, which was how was your first weekend with a little bit of, a little bit of freedom and no football? Uh, would you believe I uh, went to watch my son play and uh, Craig Hinton, who a lot of people in the town would know, uh, made me run the line on my <laughs> son's side. So I came back down to earth with a bump and uh, I felt quite pressurised if I got a decision wrong. So uh, yeah, I ran the line and uh, did a few bits and pieces, but yeah, it was good. Um, and of course, the, the nature of football, and we even talked a little bit about it last week in terms of we were, we were celebrating a great season for you, but also the same day you, you, you announced the players that could be leaving, the players that could be staying. Let's just start there with um, those players that you've offered contracts to in, in Ali Koi King, Tom King, Max Darcy as well. What, what's the situation with, with them? Yeah, just obviously we put the offer out, we're speaking to them at the moment, and uh, obviously we hope they re-sign with us, but... Um, the other thing we've been key in doing all along is uh, making sure that we we have players under that ready to go if if we feel we need. Uh, we hope we don't, uh, but uh, obviously we we want them to be with us. We we really do because we feel they uh, add to us. Is there? Um, I know it's always difficult. And it's, it's a question that you ask every year when these types of contracts are. Is there a, a time on it where you say, please, can you get back to us by this because we need to, to move forward? Yeah, you, you can put times, but it doesn't usually work out that way. But um, look, you, you usually get a feeling if they're pretty keen to sign. And um, I think the relationships that were forged that uh, you feel you um, get the honesty back from the players and, and the agents as well. So uh, I think that's, that's really important that we forge those relationships with those players, really. Uh, we talked about the um, players that are staying on paper, 18, 13 players, but like you say, a couple of those youngsters about in Flanagan and in Avon Boda, I would imagine, will go out on loan, like you say, and, and get experience that way. So that takes you down to 16. And of those 16, it's not always guaranteed that they they all stay as well. Have you had conversations with certain players that, that, that might be leaving who are under contract? Uh, no, I, I would say we will, I, you know, I, I suspect that everyone will stay. You know, uh, you've got James Dadge in the mix as well. There's another one down. It, it takes it down to about 14 players that are really considered for the first team and then uh, yeah look um, no, I'm just looking forward to seeing the group uh, but uh, everyone probably needs a rest from everyone now and uh, I'm looking forward to them coming back hitting the ground run, running really. Um, what are you looking for then John? What, what do you need in, to add to your squad between now and the, and the first game in, in League One? Uh, what do we need? We need uh, to keep the recruitment standard as, as good as it's been. Uh, looks like we need to potentially just up the level a tiny bit more um, and you know to fit into the profile that we're after in, in certain positions especially and uh, I think overall we've, we've done pretty well in, in recruiting uh, for, for the profile we're after and uh, I think that's going to be really important uh, come for this summer anyway. Yeah, and there's going to be a lot of confidence at this stage of, we we're very early in pre-season of course, but you've got that formula behind you now, the, the process that you work to, it's proved to be successful, you've got a lot of first team players already, mm. does it give you that, that confidence and that, that flexibility going into the summer to, to, and that kind of focus that you know exactly what you, what you want and it's, and it's worked before? I think you're right, there's certainly some strong foundations that we've got and uh, the players, you know, with those foundations, those players know the way we play and how we play and they're also flexible and adaptable as we've seen, um, which is really important. So thereafter, uh, having those foundations, you can't always rely on what you've done in the past, but it shows that we've got a, a good eye, a good blueprint for the way we do things. and. Uh, We've just got to make sure because it's a lot of hard work that goes into it. This is this is probably the hardest one now because uh, you um, in the off season you don't get a chance to go out and watch the players anymore, and you've got to remember with your live eyes. You've got to look at all the reports that are being given back by our scouts. You've got to go and watch them on my scout over and over until you're really happy with that certain player, that certain person, and uh, there's. There's a lot of work to do now to get this right, and we, you know, we're going up a level that's going to be a, a real tough standard, and uh, it's a, it's one where you know 
we haven't stayed there consistently and that's the that's the aim now for us to do that uh, you were talking about obviously the profile of player and the, which will fit your style of play which you, you're very committed to mm. if, if there are any particular pressing positions that you want to focus on first or is there a case of adding quality around on the squad I don't think you you actually get an opportunity to to focus on a certain position first because it 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 will be you know we earmark all the positions we're after and then and then thereafter it's who's in contact first and how you get that opportunity to speak to that agent etc and so but obviously the positions have been certainly in mark that we're, we're certainly after, yeah. Uh, moving on from recruitment and just in terms of the squad that you've got now and into pre-season, you've obviously had some injuries and some long-term injuries. First and foremost, when you get to the first day of pre-season, how do you think that your squad will look in terms of those longer-term injuries and the, the, that are lingering on? <clears throat> yeah, so we've sat down already and, and gone through uh, at what stage will this certain player be back. So we've sat down and gone through the long list at the moment. And uh, yeah, so we know when when players are back, but we know that one certainly will, will not be back until certainly after Christmas, which is Tyler, which is, you know, he took a um, hell of a injury to his knee and, uh, you know, our best wishes have been with him all along. I've been in touch with him every week um, and he's been, when he's been at home, I've been in touch with him. But now, like he, just before the last three weeks of the season, he came back in and started to work uh, with the group and uh, just do bits and pieces to to strengthen. So it was important to see him around, especially for his mental health as well. Yeah, how is he at the moment? Yeah, he uh, it rocked him uh, to find out the extent of the injury, and it, it did us all because. Uh, he was such an integral part to us, but he's uh, he's got great character and great uh, strength, and he's got a lot of support from us, and we will uh, work with him to to get him back to to his best again. And uh, he knows that he knows he's got his support here, and um, he knows we'll be speaking to him while he's back at home. But he he can also pick up the phone as well. So there's that that level of care and contact as well. Um. What kind of headache does that give you in a way, just specifically with Tyler? Because obviously he'll have a long injury and if he comes back after Christmas, you've then got to give him that time to, to come back and find his feet and trust his body and, and get shot, etc. What, what kind of problem does that give you there looking into the summer? Well, obviously you, you probably go with one less than a half, but you, uh, you know, you've got to work with the player and uh, make sure that he's ready and right to come back as well. So look, I've I think we're very good at um, surmising the whole situation and, and understanding that. So there'll be have to, have to be a bit of flex uh, from either way, and, and it's going to be uh, it's going to be difficult for him and difficult for a, a player of his ability not to be involved to start with. But he's working he, now. He's got a pathway and an understanding uh, and a timeline for when he can come back. So uh, I, I know with Tyler, he'll work towards trying to beat that timeline. Um, but we're, we're going to be sympathetic and you know, just um, looking forward to having him back fit and strong and ready when he's ready. Yeah, and in terms of just other injuries, you, you, you've talked about this from, from Christmas onwards, really, about how you've been reviewing things, um, from training to, to, to all sorts of minute detail we wouldn't even think about. How, where are you with that at the moment? Yeah, look, we we do some... There, there'll be certain things that we, we might do a little bit different. Um, across the board uh, in, in, in a few departments as well. And uh, so it's, um, it's how we sit down and, and formulate that and write that out and go, right, this is, this is a bit changing the structure a tiny bit more, but will that be the right thing? Who knows? We're hoping it will be, but we're, we're, we've worked on it. And, but like I said to you, that, that we, there was a big statistic that came out from Premier League all the way down to League Two that uh, hamstrings have gone up 23.5% across all leagues. So is that some, we don't know why yet, and it hasn't come out why, but is that something to do with the COVID season, etc.? I don't know, I don't know, but we've, we've looked into it really strongly. Um, 
touch wood, we don't have that situation as much again. Yeah, that, and that's a really important point, isn't it? Because we obviously we very much focus on what's going on with your side, and you've had a, an unbelievable amount of and injuries and bad luck, and some of them are impact injuries, which you, mm. you, you cannot do anything about, and some of them are massive injuries, like you say, but you, you haven't been the only one, so you, you've looked across the league, in, all across the leagues, even in League Two as well, you know, Mansfield were hit pretty badly at one point, and mm. Leighton Orient as well, and, and plenty of other sites, it's, it's not a unique so You look at Sunderland playing tonight, I think they've got nine out tonight, uh, they're playing Luton. So, uh, it, 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 it's quite an extreme situation for a team like them as well, I, I bet that is quite extreme. And when you when you lose five or six of your, your marquee players, then that is that is very tough, isn't it? You know? Yeah, just a final one. We're talking in the middle of May. Um, wh where are you at personally at the moment? Are you are you f full steam ahead into next season? Are you still trying to take that little bit of time to to decompress and to 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 bask in obviously a brilliant success? Or, is it, or does it have to be that way that you are? Full war ahead. I, th I think you can always enjoy and look back and enjoy that moment. And you know, people still uh, talking to you about it and within the club and the media and everyone around here. You know, you still reflect back uh, and and speak to you guys. You, other things come up about it, and why not? We've worked so hard to enjoy that. Uh, but it's also we've we've come in today and we're doing some work. And uh, yes, we've got to look forward, and we're always looking forward and. Obviously, um, we're we're ready to approach next season already, uh, and uh, we're working hard to, you know, put put a team together that can be, like I said, you know, very competitive next season.